Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I'm taking a little break from radio uh, after all the turmoil and <laughs> over that S true SDX uh, series. I'll come back to that um, in a few weeks, but I wanted to look at something different, and uh, you know what it is from the thumbnail. But uh, I wanted to preface this by talking about something else. Uh, back when I was a kid, 10 years old, I was making I was wiring up uh, light bulbs and switches and lantern batteries and making spaceships out of cardboard boxes in my backyard for my imagination, you know. My uh, dad, recognizing my interest in electronics, bought me one of these from Radio Shack for Christmas that year. The 150 in 1 Electronics Project Kit. Now I'm sure a bunch of you just went, oh yeah, because I know a lot of people have had this. I, I posted over on the Facebook uh, page a picture of it and as of this morning there was over 101 uh, likes and hearts on it and a huge string of comments of people sharing their memories of having the same thing. It was a tech toy, um, a toy of, of the, the technology of the day that uh, was an educational tool to teach me and my young self about electronics, which it did. I spent hours and hours and hours over years actually playing with that electronics kit. Um, one of the best Christmas gifts my parents ever got me, and um, I'm sure that uh, those of you that had it as, as well probably have equally fond memories of it. Well, what's the modern day equivalent? What's the tech toy these days that's, you know, in, in the modern technology realm that's educational for kids of all ages, even older folks like me? Well, that's what we're looking at. This is from Elegoo. It's the most complete, <laughs> they say, starter kit for the Mega 2560, which is their clone of an Arduino. Now, this was sent to me uh, by a longtime friend of the channel, Kevin, and 9 iww back there in Fort Wayne. Thanks, Kevin. I'm really going to enjoy this thing. Arduinos are microcontrollers. Uh, they're put together in a, in a breakout board that makes it easy to connect things to them. Uh, they are programmable hardware. They're basically a computer on a chip with I.O. ports um, that can sense things and drive things. Uh, and a very easy programming environment that was developed as an educational tool. Uh, the Arduino project is a fantastic project. It's been around for years and years and years. I played with it first five, six years ago when I built my Arduino Vox rig interface. Uh, and this kit, which we'll look at in detail here in a moment, comes with not only one of the programmable microcontroller boards, the Mega 2560 AT Mega uh, chip on it, um, but it also comes with all kinds of additional stuff, additional little boards and sensors and, and motors and, and electronics, and a manual with um, a 223-page manual with a whole bunch of uh, what they call our lessons, but they're projects to build with it. And it's basically to teach you about working with microcontrollers, which are in everything. You know, your refrigerator probably has a microcontroller in it, your microwave, your TV. Um, well, some smart TVs have more than that, but microcontrollers are in everything. They're the current, they're one of the current uh, technologies. And this kit is a great way to get started in learning about programming microcontrollers and playing around with electronics in general. Let's take a closer look at it and uh, maybe build something with it to see how it works. Well, here it is. Comes in a nice plastic box. Latches. <clears throat> and if we open this up, we first have this page here with all of the information on all of the things that come in this kit. And there's a lot of stuff. Their contact information up here, their website. If you go to their website, you can download the manual as a PDF. We'll take a look at that in a moment. In the kit, we have a CD-ROM with presumably the manual and the uh, Arduino development uh, library or program. Um, oh, thank you card. You're welcome. Thank you, Kevin, again. <laughs> okay, look at all this. Holy cow. Uh, this here... 
<clears throat> this is the Arduino itself, or the Arduino clone from Elegoo, a Mega 2560R3. Um, oh man, tons of little breakout boards. I don't even know what that one is. I'd have to get a magnifying lens out to look at it. But uh, we have breakout boards galore, okay? Uh, this is a power supply, so USB or other power comes in, 12 volts. This will give you 5 volts and, um, I don't know, 3.3 volts. So, yeah, this will give you several voltages out. There's things in here, the, all kinds of stuff to put on the input and output of your Arduino. There's an LED matrix there, so you could uh, play around with LEDs. There's... Uh, Regular components. Here's a bunch of resistors. Over here, we've got a prototyping board. I'm going to have to open these up to really take a look at them. So this is a prototyping board that can uh, plug into the Arduino and you can solder up your own circuitry on it. There's a little breadboard in there as well that you could presumably, you know, just glue on there and use to breadboard components. So you could build your projects semi-permanently or permanently there. There is so much in here, there's no way that I can possibly cover everything. Uh, I will link to the manual uh, down in the video description, and if you go there, you can uh, you can uh, inspect everything that's in here. We'll just take a quick look at a few of the things. Over here, we have regular components, regular electronic components, transistors, capacitors, uh, a couple of ICs in there. Don't know what those are. A bunch of LEDs, some potentiometers, uh, PZO speaker buzzers. So yeah, lots of uh, regular components in there. More breakout boards. Uh, is that a decade counter? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to actually go through the manual to figure out what most of this stuff is myself. Uh, this is a fun one. This is a sonar transceiver. Uh, these are audio emitters and, and uh, microphone. Uh, so this, this would uh, be used for sonar projects where it'll send out an audio pulse and receive the echo and cal you can calculate the distance based on that. We might play with that. This is amazing. This is a little a little uh, joystick. <laughs> a little four-way joystick. It has a knob that you can uh, put on there. There you go. Now you got a four-way joystick that you can use in your projects. <laughs> uh, of course, seven segment displays, uh, a multiple display and a single display. Uh, relay. Um, servo. There's a servo motor. 9-volt battery for powering things. Uh, there's a CR2032 uh, backup battery. Is this a real-time clock board? Oh yeah, it's got, uh, maybe it's memory. It's got a big chip on the back there. Smaller chip. This might be, um, this might be battery backed up memory. I wonder if it says up here on the diagram. There's so much stuff in here. Uh, there's an RFID module. This isn't that. This is a microphone. This is a, an audio input device. Hmm. Modulated stuff. That's a 12-volt power brick. I thought that there was in here somewhere a LCD display. or Oh, that's an infrared uh, motion sensor. That's what that is. That's an infrared motion sensor. Huh. It's amazing how much stuff's in here. Oh, that's some kind of a sensor. Another kind of a sensor. It looks like it's for sensing gases of some type. It's got a, a grid in it. Uh, up here we got wires, connection wires, point-to-point -point wires, a ribbon cable for uh, more involved connections. A... is that a stepper motor? Yeah, I think that's a geared down... yeah, geared down stepper motor. 5 volt DC stepper. 9 volt battery power connector. So yeah, all wiring and stuff. Um, this is an interesting looking thing. It's a PC board with multiple traces on it. You know what that is? That's a water level sensor. 
So <laughs> that would uh, sense moisture as it comes up the PC board, the resistance would decrease. And so you could sense that value. Ah, there it is. I knew we had one of these in here somewhere. And this is exciting too. A uh, LCD display, uh, two or three, maybe four line display. So yeah, just an infrared remote. <laughs> So you could design robotics projects with this. You could you could build all kinds of stuff with this. You could basically learn how to program the microcontroller to interface with all kinds of things and to manipulate all kinds of things. Let's take a look at the uh, clone of the Arduino here. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. So that is the microcontroller, Mega 2560. The manual on the CD is in a PDF format, which you can also download. Um, as I said, I put a link in the video description below. If you want to download it and check it out ahead of time and see if this kit might be something for you. It's a very nicely done manual. Let's zoom in a little bit there. Um, they have all relevant links here as to where you can buy parts. Um, email address for help and then the packing list now this is the interesting stuff here uh, this shows us everything that's in the kit and a description of what it is you know and in some cases like here GY 521 module one part that's a breakout board for this chip and what is this chip well I looked it up it's an accelerometer so that's a chip that will sense uh, angle and motion LCD uh, module the mega board itself. There's an RFID module with a RFID chip. So you could set this up to read RFID chips, the stepper motor, the prototype board that we looked at. And you can see, now this is a 200 and, I don't know, 23 page, 218 page, two, page 218 is the last lesson. So it's quite a bunch, quite a bunch of information in this manual. Um, this is great. Uh, let's uh, let's pick one. Now, I'm gonna I want to play with that ultrasonic sensor, which is lesson ten here, and that's on page eighty. So I'll go to page eighty. Ultrasonic sensor module. So here it is. This this sends out an audio pulse at a high frequency that you probably can't hear with your ears. Your cat might hear it, and then it picks up the echo, and that the software can time that and, and calculate by how long it took for the echo to come back what the distance is. Component required, we're going to need the uh, main board right there. We're going to need the ultrasonic sensor module and we're going to need four wires, female to male wires. Uh, that's for plugging this into the board. Um, it tells us what the ultrasonic sensor is uh, provides two centimeters to 400 centimeters non-contact measurement. That's like 13 feet. <laughs> That's quite a distance. Wow, I didn't know it could go that far. Um, the ranging accuracy can reach to three millimeters. So it can be accurate to within three millimeters. Uh, That's pretty good. Um, what would you use this for? You might use it on the front of a robot. So you can tell when you're approaching a wall or an obstacle and you need to know to turn. Uh, as one example. Um, da -da -da -da. The module automatically sends eight 40 kilohertz pulses. Okay, so 40 kilohertz is the audio. That's way above human hearing, so you're not going to hear that. Your your cat might hear it and wonder what it is. Um, yeah, this is written in, uh, in uh, translated English, so the grammar is a little odd. If, capitalized, if the signal back through high level, time of high output I.O. duration is the time from sending ultrasonic TOR tuning. <laughs> so you kind of have to figure out what they're, what they're, <laughs> what they're saying. Uh, there are actually four different language folders on the CD in the English, French, German, and I'm sure that their translations are about as accurate. So yeah, this gives you a, a breakdown of, of what the uh, module does. Um, how it works, and there's a timing diagram to show you. Uh, trigger input to the module is, is a 10, 10 microsecond. Um, it sends a sonic burst, eight cycles, and then uh, the echo pulse uh, output to user timing circuit. So then it, it gives you back a pulse, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's the duration and time between this point and this point that tells you the distance. 
and then we get a schematic on how to make the connections. And that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the 5 volt pin to VCC, uh, D12, which is one of the uh, digital pins, goes to trigger. D11, which is another digital pin, goes to echo. So this one's going to be, D11 is going to be in uh, input mode for reading, and 12 is going to be in output mode for sending a pulse. And then, of course, ground. Um, so that's all the connections we need to make to this. And then we just load the software. Here is a visual wiring diagram they include for each of these projects, which again makes it very easy to follow. So that's all you need to do to wire this up for the test. And then the code. Using the library designed for these sensors will make your code short and simple. We include the library at the beginning of our code, and then by using simple commands we can control the behavior of the sensor. I did download the contents of the CD-ROM, uh, well just the English folder because that's what I'm interested in. So let's go in here. Libraries are in a separate folder and those are all the libraries that you might need. Now a lot of these are already going to be included in the Arduino IDE because these are common parts. But if not, the libraries are here so you can follow the procedure in the manual to extract them and add them to your system. And then code. And these are organized by lesson number. So it was lesson 10, right? Ultrasonic sensor module. Let's look there. They put the library in here as well, so you don't have to go hunting for it. This is the library that's needed. And here is the example code. Now I will open the code file, and we can look at it. And here it is. Uh, real simple. Okay, so well, let's build this and uh, see it in operation. All right, uh, I wanted to have this anchored on something so I could you know, play with it. So I put it on the breadboard. So let's hook up our wires. Uh, so red I've got to the 5 volts, so that goes to uh, uh, VCC, which is 5 holes in from the end. 1, 2, 3, four. yep, 5 volts. All right, now I just need to connect the Arduino. Okay, so I've got the circuit built. I've got the Arduino hooked up. First, I need to come in here and I need to uh, set the board. And this is a Arduino Mega or Mega 2560. And uh, port. Okay, we set that to the right port. And now we will upload this sketch. Okay, there we go. Um, this does not have that library. So I need to install the library. All right, I'm going to extract the library. And now I need to install this into my Arduino. So let me go and figure out how to do that under Linux. All right, so I have extracted the zip file, and that gives us this folder which has the library. I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to copy it. And now, in my this is under Linux. In my home directory, there's an Arduino folder, and inside of there, there is a libraries folder. And inside of there is where we place this library file. So I will paste it. There we go, hcsr04. Now the big question is, will it sense that without relaunching the Arduino IDE. Let's see. Upload? Yes, it did. Okay, it found it. It, it uploaded it. It's done uploading. Uh, I'm going to go here and open the serial monitor. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's seeing some distance now. I put my hand in here. 12 centimeters. I'll move it closer. 8 centimeters. How accurate is that? Let's find out. I've got a ruler. So I'll put this right about there, and I'll put my hand at about 5 centimeters. And look at that, 5 centimeters. I'll move my hand out to 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters on the display, 15, 16. A little loss in accuracy while well, my skin is soft. <laughs> Let's go all the way out here to 29 centimeters. I'm off the camera. 29.30. It's working. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> 
Okay, um, so here's what's really cool about this whole kit, is you can build individual projects and then you can modify them. And you can, com and you can combine projects and you can learn how to interact with this hardware and how to program these microcontrollers to work with this hardware and build more ev evolved things. So this is the LCD display and I've built it up and I've loaded the default sketch into it which simply displays hello world, which we should see in a moment. Uh oh. Okay, it was working. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, the boot up time on this uh, board is a little bit longer. So there we go. It's displaying hello world and it's counting seconds. All right. So I modified my print statement down here. I'm printing the value and then I'm printing four spaces to clear anything beyond those characters so we don't end up with letters hanging around on the display. And if we go back here and I put my hand down, okay, there's seven centimeters. There's 12 centimeters. It's bouncing off my fingers. <laughs> so I'm moving my hand in front of the sensor. So there I'm four centimeters away, six centimeters away, nine centimeters away, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13. So it is working now. It's reading our, it's printing our distance. Neat. What if I wanted to print that in inches? Well, what's the math for calculation to convert CM into inches? Divide the length value by 2.54. So I'm going to add another LCD dot print quotes a divided by 2.54. And then we'll put the word LCD dot print inches. Upload that. So I'm four centimeters away from it. That's my hand in here. Or 1.57 inches. Six centimeters away, 2.36 inches. Nine centimeters away, 3.54 inches. So I could make an acoustic ranging device uh, that can go up to 15 feet with this. So. Yeah, pretty neat. This is an excellent educational tool. It's, it's, it's all kinds of fun. So there you go, the Elegoo uh, Most Complete Starter Kit for the Mega 2560. They're our, their clone of an Arduino. Yeah, I know, it's a Chinese clone. I'm not going to go there and uh, don't bother flinging hate in the comments. I'll ignore it. Um, this is what it is, and, and this is what was sent to me. Thanks again to Kevin, N9IWW, back there in Fort Wayne for sending me this. I'll have a lot of fun with it, and uh, it'll help me to prototype things going uh, down the road, too. Having all of the, uh, everything available in one box just makes it easier to uh, sit down and prototype stuff for future projects. So yeah, if you have a grandkid that's into electronics or a kid that's into electronics, this might be a heck of a Christmas gift. Maybe they'll have as much fun with it as, uh, as I had with that old 151 electronics kit, you know? Um, and if you're just interested in uh, getting into programming microcontrollers, this is a heck of a, a kit. Um, pick it up if you can find it. Uh, as of the making of this video, they were still in stock at uh, uh, the Walmart online store, and there's several other sources that came up with a Google search. So about 99 bucks, I think, at Walmart for this whole kit, which is amazing. I looked up the, uh, the 150 and one electronics project kit. It was about 30 bucks in 1976, and adjusted for inflation, today's money, that's about $148. So this is uh, cheaper than what <laughs> my parents originally invested in that 150 and one electronics project kit. And certainly 
far more capable. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's what it is. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.